Welcome back and good evening everyone. Tonight we are learning more about how Tyner students are succeeding in the classroom with their new Pathways program. Hamlin County educators have been working across our community and they're doing that to identify 10 pathways that students can continue their education or career long after they graduate from high school. This is a far reaching example of what's right with our schools. Oftentimes it's not a straight line. You may go into something like welding and then also get a college degree. So we want to make sure that people have the opportunity to do that. So the event that we had today is that we bring in guest speakers to talk to our students, specifically our freshmen and our seniors. We want our students to be ready grad, and that just means we provide opportunities for them to have early post-secondary chances at their future. Everybody needs to have a plan. College, trade school, lineman school, apprenticeships, everybody has to have a plan prior to leaving. Leaving, Kai, right? We're working closely with our school system and with our universities and colleges and trade schools in the area to create clear, defined pathways to jobs that have thriving wage, starting wages. There's got to be a pathway to what's next. So we've been working across our community to identify 10 pathways in which students can, as early as elementary school, explore the opportunities that are available here in, Ch in Chattanooga and Hamilton County, and making sure that we're thinking creatively about what those training opportunities are. So we brought in two different sets of speakers. One set of speakers talked about early post-secondary opportunities, um, how to get into the programs at Chat State in regards to welding and then some other areas. Then the other set of speakers were talking about, in a sense, how to be successful and ensuring that you have a plan before we get to graduation. Really being some type of inspiration, really impacting the students uh, at Tyne Academy, really the seniors, uh, really speaking to them about this next step that they're about to usher into in their lives. Uh, I think many of them, they understand it, but they don't fully understand it like many of us do, um, just the, the place that they're about to embark upon in their lives. So we just want to engage them, um, really talk to them about what to expect next, uh, and really encourage them uh, to reach for the stars and, and try to go as far as they possibly can. Statistically speaking, many students drop out between the 8th and 9th grade or during their 9th grade year. For us at Titan Academy, it's finding ways to ensure that our students are meeting the targets to get to graduation. So we focus a lot of our attention on 9th grade and on 12th grade. When we get them here in 9th grade, we want to keep them. We want them to matriculate to the 12th grade so they can go either college or career. It helped me, um, it helped me by giving, like, giving me different options. Like, if I don't want to go to college, I know I can do this. And if I do go to college, then I may still have opportunity to do welding or something like that. I want my students to understand there are many opportunities out there. My job is to bring those opportunities to the forefront so they see they have options. So at the end of the day, is our, if you're going to college, that is great. If you're going career, getting a certification, whatever the case may be. But the opportunities are there before you. Let's take advantage of it. And we love the Tyner Rams around here. If you know something positive that's happening in our schools, we'd love to hear about that. Log on to our website. It's WDEF.com. Click on the What's Right With Our Schools link and simply fill out the form.